In this video, we'll show you how to stage CDC data in database ingestion and replication. With database ingestion and replication, you can replicate data at scale from relational and non-relational source databases to a variety of targets, including cloud data warehouses, data lakes, streaming systems, and other relational databases. When you create a database ingestion and replication task, you can create a CDC staging group to optimize change data capture. The CDC staging task can read change data from the source database in a single pass and write the data to cloud-based storage. When multiple tasks use the source database, the tasks in the staging group can read change data from the common cloud-based storage instead of accessing the source separately. This enhances performance, scalability, and efficiency. Also, as an independent repository for captured changes, the cloud storage layer reduces the dependency on source archive logs for recovery and prevents data loss in the case of extended job failures. You can create CDC staging groups with these source types and CDC methods. DB2 for I and DB2 for ZOS with the log-based CDC method, Oracle with the log-based CDC method, and Microsoft SQL Server with either the log-based or CDC tables method. Let's create a CDC staging task. Create a new database ingestion and replication task. If you haven't defined a default runtime environment, select an environment for the task. Select a target connection. For this demo, we'll use an Amazon S3 connection. Then select a source connection. We'll use a Microsoft SQL Server connection. Then select the load type and schema for the task. Now let's set some advanced options. First, we'll stage CDC data. Next, we need to create a staging group. When you create future tasks, you can select a staging group that you previously created. First, name the group or use the generated group name. Then select a connection to the cloud staging location. You can select an Amazon S3, Google Cloud Storage, or Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 connection. Next, specify the directory where you want to stage the CDC log data. For each CDC staging group, enter a unique directory that the secure agent can access for read and write operations. Enter the source database properties, which vary depending on the source you selected for the task. These are the properties for a Microsoft SQL Server source connection. For enhanced control over user access to a source database and its logs, you can enable a different source connection to read data from the source logs. Then select the CDC method you want to use, include LOBs to capture and stage LOB data, and set the maximum number of rows the task can write to the files that temporarily store data. Next, select the position in the source logs where the CDC staging job starts reading change records the first time it runs. The job can start reading change records from the earliest position that change data is available, the most recent point in the source logs to capture only the latest changes, a specific position in the source logs, such as a log sequence number or a similar identifier for the database type, or a precise date and time. Next, specify the data retention period. By default, the stage data is retained in storage for 14 days, but you can retain the data for up to 365 days. Finally, save the CDC staging group. Great, next we'll configure the target. Use the basic and advanced target properties to indicate how you want to replicate data to the target. Next, you can apply transformations to selected tables. For this demo, we'll continue to the next step. Finally, verify or edit the general properties, save the task, and then deploy it to create a job. When you create new tasks that read data from the same source database, you can select the new CDC staging group and write the data to cloud-based storage. The tasks can then read data from the cloud storage.
Now let's head over to Monitor, where we can monitor the progress of our jobs. When you create a task with a staging group and deploy it, the task creates two jobs. The CDC staging job reads data from the source database in a single pass and writes the data to cloud storage. The tasks associated with the staging group then read the data from cloud storage. Filter the job list for the CDC staging task asset type and select your staging job. You can monitor the job's progress and view the job details. The ingestion job reads data from the staging location instead of the source database and then writes the data to the target. Filter the job list for the database ingestion and replication task asset type and select the ingestion job for one of your tasks to view the job details. You can also run and monitor the job from the My Jobs page in Data Ingestion and Replication or the All Jobs tab on the Data Ingestion and Replication page in Operational Insights. And that's it! Now you're ready to improve performance and scalability with CDC staging groups in Database Ingestion and Replication. For more information, see the Frequently Asked Questions on the Informatica Knowledge Base.